what will you do if we tell you that dragons have not died out but settled on several islands of our planet and make the locals tremble with fear? Meet with Delight, the world famous reptilian fighter without rules, Mr. Komodo Monitor Lizard, or the Komodo Dragon. Yes, you heard it right, the dragon. Komodo monitor lizards, also called dragons, are one of the few representatives of the ancient megafauna that have survived to this day. Remember Megalania. This two-ton demon is a relative of the Komodo monitor lizard. You have to agree that the appearance of this predator is mesmerizing. Looking at this animal even through the screen, the imagination seems to be carried away into that distant antediluvian past, where those gigantic animals called dinosaurs still lived. So in this video you will learn how a descendant of dinosaurs lives today, what power it has now and how it gets its food. If you are not afraid to face a real dinosaur, then subscribe to the channel and express your opinion in the comments. This large lizard was nicknamed by the locals the Last Dragon or Buaya Derret, that is, a crocodile crawling on the ground. The Komodo dragon is the champion of monitor lizards in terms of size and disgusting eating habits. They are quite aggressive animals that pose a danger to humans. It is believed that a few onlookers a year always become a light snack for the southern dragon. But they attack people not because of hunger, but because the two-legged creature makes it nervous or simply interferes with hunting. In order not to become dinner for this large lizard, you need to know where it lives and keep your eyes open. Giant monitor lizards live on the Indonesian island of Komodo and several other tiny neighboring islands – Rencha, Padare, Jeli Motang and Flores. But these monitor lizards do not live on the other islands that are nearby. On this occasion, scientists have long written a whole mountain of articles trying to explain this phenomena, but there was no answer that would suit everyone. Komodo dragons may look clumsy, but these lizards are muscular and can move at explosive speeds. In a sprint, a Komodo dragon can run at a speed of 20 km per hour. The average person runs at a speed of 24 km per hour. Therefore, if a hungry monitor lizard is hunting you, run with all your might. Don't underestimate their speed just because of their massive body and small paws. Their appearance is misleading and lulls vigilance. Now you will see for yourself why the Komodo dragon is called the Super Predator. Let's just say it like it is, without flattery, Komodo dragon is a real monster. The largest lizard currently living on Earth is up to 3 meters long and weighs up to 160 kilograms. It's good that at least it doesn't spew fire from its mouth and doesn't sleep on a pile of gold, although we are not sure. After all, these reptilians are quite suitable for such a work. A large white mouth like a crocodile, where there are 60 teeth sharpened for tearing out pieces of flesh, powerful limbs with sharp claws and a huge muscular tail, with which it sometimes breaks limbs of its prey. <coughs> Seeing this reptile, you can be seriously scared, since its very appearance seems to scream that now the monster will grab you and swallow you. On the islands, monitor lizards play the same role as hyenas in Africa. The monitor lizard is an apex predator. It was made to kill. Moreover, our hero does this quite cruelly with love and passion for this activity, so to speak. In terms of nutrition, Komodo monitor lizards are absolutely picky. They will eat what they find regardless of size. 
Today they can make a fasting day by eating rodents, crabs, birds, fish or turtles. And tomorrow they will hunt big Asian buffalo or horse, a deer or wild boars. When hunting large prey, the monitor lizard usually bites the tendons on the legs of the victim. It immobilizes it and eats lunch, not always waiting until the dinner is completely dead. Charming creature, isn't it? Going hunting, the lizard prefers to use the sense of smell. If the Komodo dragon decided to attack someone, then there is simply no chance of being safe. Well, the chances are very slim anyway. Although the giant lizard is able to move quickly, its hunting strategy is based on stealth and surprise. The monitor lizard has enough patience, it can stay in one place for hours, waiting for someone within reach to be devoured. There is no hurry here. When the right moment is chosen, the Komodo monitor lizard attacks. Suddenly running out of the bushes, the lizard takes the animal by surprise and taking advantage of this short-term confusion, conducts a series of attacks. If the animal turned out to be very large and it was not possible to take it with a swoop, the monitor lizard is absolutely not upset about this. When bitten, dozens of types of bacteria get into the wounds of the victim with saliva. The saliva of the Komodo dragon is a hotbed of pathogenic bacteria, which means that after a bite, the victim's wound will never heal again the victim will slowly bleed out. It also has two poison glands in its jaws that secrete toxic proteins. Even one bite is enough to seriously weaken the victim. Until the wounded animal falls, the Komodo dragon will pursue its prey. All factory receptors allow monitor lizards to determine the location of a victim with a bleeding wound from a distance of more than 5 kilometers. Just think about it. At the end of the hunt, as a rule, the Komodo dragon shares a meal with several brothers. Giant monitor lizards also do not disdain eating skins, internal organs, bones and even hooves. In addition, they often do not mind eating rotten meat. Also, when there is absolutely nothing to eat, monitor lizards without bothering eat each other. As they say, all methods are good for the survival of the species. In short, in their habitat, giant lizards are rightful owners. They are epic predators and do what they want. Sometimes they can even attack pets. One thing that pleases local farmers is that dragons have a rather slow metabolism, so it is enough for a monitor lizard to eat a hearty meal once a month. The Komodo dragon also has fairly good eyesight. Lizards can see prey at a distance of up to 300 meters. The eyes of monitor lizards can distinguish not only colors, but also perceive fast movements. Judge for yourself now. Monitor lizards run fast, can climb a tree, swim like a fish, jumps a couple of meters in height. Fortunately for everyone, at least it doesn't fly. And as a crown to all of the above, poison. Of course, not like snakes, but it can cause dizziness and even paralysis in the victim, not to mention sepsis. Now you understand why the Komodo monitor lizard is called a top predator. It is even hard to believe that this monster hatches from an egg with a very tiny weight of 100 grams, with a body length of about 40 centimeters, and spends the first years of its life in the crowns of trees, eating insects and avoids meeting with older brothers. Komodo dragons are cannibals. In general, it is better to never encounter these lizards. These are actually very formidable predators. As for personal life, breeding among monitor lizards is even more fun. There are approximately three males for every female. Therefore, in order to get the right to copulate with a female, monitor lizards arrange a real epic fight. Two hefty males stand on their hind legs and begin to fight each other. 
the loser often walks away with multiple lacerations and dies. After the fight, the winner, as expected, copulates with the female. But sometimes there are moments when not only males fight during the mating season. The female can also protect its innocence with force. The female is big, man is small. Oh, yeah. There's another interesting feature of these animals. Female Komodo dragons can reproduce asexually through a process called parthenogenesis. When males are absent, females may lay a viable clutch of eggs. In this case, only males hatch from eggs. However, if a female monitor lizard meets a male, then reproduction occurs sexually. But despite these alleged advantages in their reproduction, since 1980, of course, thanks to people, Komodo monitor lizards have been included in the Red Book. Although it's even hard to blame a person for this. It's hard not to shoot when a giant lizard jumps out of the bushes at you. The number of monitor lizards on all the islands of their habitat has declined significantly. Now the species thrives in nature reserves, where tourists are taken with great caution and reservations. Although it is better not to meddle in the dragon's lair. This is our advice to you.